Hi and welcome to the next part in the series of air combat maneuvering. I'm Raku and I will uh, show you the barrel roll today. The name quite speaks for itself. You can uh, actually really imagine it like a like a roll around the outside of a barrel. Remember the aileron roll? The aileron roll can be imagined like a like a roll inside a barrel with your wings uh, scratching on the barrel's walls, while the barrel roll takes us for a stroll around its outside. And this maneuver is extremely important as it is the basis of many many other maneuvers. But unlike in, in aerobatics it's not so important for us to fly a specific set of parameters as the barrel roll is, at least for us, highly dynamic. It can be adapted to your needs in a turning fight and it can be combined with other maneuvers. I'm sitting in an L39C with a dismounted gun sight, uh, thus having a better view and I will just fly a barrel roll while I will pause at important moments and explain what I'm doing and where I keep looking. So uh, we start in a level flight heading approximately north, okay this is uh, quite exactly north and the first thing to notice is the, the mountain I'm flying towards. Our goal is to still fly towards this mountain when exiting the barrel roll. Ultimately, in a, in a pure barrel roll, our goal is to fly towards the same heading when coming out of a barrel roll, but it's just more easy to have a fixed point for this. You will sort shortly uh, see why. And speaking of fixed points, we need a second fixed point, 45 degrees to our left or right, depending on the direction we want to execute the roll. In this case, right now, I will want to roll to the right and I will choose uh, one, of, one of these mountains. Hey, this mountain tip is really good. Perhaps let's just take this. As, a, as my second fixed point. This is approximately 45 degrees to my right. Uh, we need this fixed point because we will roll around this point. It does sound more difficult than it really is. So, uh, in contrast to, to what I said in the beginning, we will try to fly a small set of parameters because this is how we can develop a good feel for it. And let me unpause it, let me show you my axis and stick deflection in the lower left and let's take a note of our altitude it's about 5.4 kilometers and uh, as said before we're heading north and to begin a barrel roll you want to pitch up this is just like the aileron roll you will want to counter any imminent altitude loss that you will suffer from while flying towards the ground okay pitching up pitching up about 30 degrees and starting to roll keeping my eyes on the fixed point, more difficult than it uh, sounds, and pause. We are now around 90 degrees bank, more or less, our, our wings are pointing to the ground, uh, respectively, in the sky. At this point, you will want to have your nose over your fixed point. So your fixed point and your nose should roughly form a line. You don't want your fixed point here and you don't want it here. You want it in the middle right where your nose is. So far, okay, I'm pausing again and I'm just holding my stick where it is. You can actually see it and pausing again. And this time we are nearly inverted. Okay, not perfectly inverted, but uh, the next thing you wanna you wanna look at is when you are right inverted and when when you fly it like uh, like uh, like it's described in a textbook you you will want your heading to now be 90 degrees different from where you started so we flew north right in the beginning and we would want our heading now to be about 90 degrees it's uh, it's 70 now in this case but as i said in the beginning parameters are not that important it's nice to know them to to train them actually but 70s is just as good uh, if we would have uh, rolled left, we would want our heading to be 270 now, but we rolled right, so 90, 80, yeah, okay, 70, this can be okay. Um, you may have noticed I just took the throttle away. I did this to counter the uh, the gain of speed uh, I'm about to experience when, yeah, well, I will fly toward the ground in a moment, so I don't want to speed up so so fast. Okay, I'm pausing again, 
just holding the stick where it is. Holding, holding, holding. And right about now I want to look up, see my initial fix point and just pull the, the, uh, the aircraft right into it. There we are. Well, not, not around 5.4, more 4.8, but about north. So this wasn't too hard. Uh, you you will just have to keep keep your concentration on both of your fixed points and shortly check your attitude when when your bank angle is around 90 degrees and when you are inverted. So let's just do another barrel roll, but this time without pausing. Um, again, I just find myself a fixed point about 45 degrees to my right, and again it's one of the mountain tops. Uh, pitching up, rolling around. Just staring at my fixed point, short check, looking good. Inverted, short check again, this time more near 90. And okay, to the ground, finding my initial fixed point. Oh, have to roll a bit more, pull a bit more. And here we are again. About the height uh, we, we just entered the barrel roll. Of course we will have a look at tech view, but actually there's not so much to see around here. So instead uh, you will take a look at tech view and I will talk about why we actually perform a barrel roll. Um, if you pursuing someone, or better to say if you are pursuing an enemy in the sky somewhere and you know you will overshoot him, then the barrel roll could be your lifesaver. Um, if you pitch up you you lose speed and uh, if the if your enemy continues to just fly or turn or whatever then he will he will just get away from you i mean at the top of the barrel roll you're in a 90 degree heading difference between you and him so he can just get away better so you can actually prevent an overshoot with a barrel roll of course, for a barrel roll there is a counter. If the enemy pulls, uh, the enemy can pull down straight downwards, but most likely you will be in in weapon range when you come down in your barrel roll and see him turning down. So, uh, if you if you are in a turning fight and you see your enemy behind you perform a barrel roll, then be aware that the that he will most likely use some of his weapons when turning down so uh, it's it's actually not that easy in a, in a real turning fight but it could be your lifesaver and that's the important thing to thing to know if you really happen to overshoot someone don't do it do a barrel roll and everything will be fine and that's it for today that was the barrel roll as i said in the beginning it's highly dynamic and you can adapt it for many situations as well as other maneuvers based on it so go ahead and train it really i hope you had fun watching i hope you learned something so subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any new maneuvers and please don't get dizzy rolling around see you next time